testing and today I'm coming to you with a very quick nail tutorial um in past videos maybe around the holidays of last year I talked about Dashing Diva having a nail kit at Sally's Beauty Supply but it was going under the name of Nail Bliss Pro well some of you actually went out and got this kit this is Dashing Diva that I have um the one again at Sally's is Nail Bliss Pro and some people had a question on how to use their set. Um, some of you said that you couldn't get the, the actual system, the tip, this, to come out right. Or how did you remove the glue from your nail or you can remove it properly without damaging your nail a little bit. So just a quick overview of what it is that I use. Basically in the kit you get... I guess you get two sets of nails that came with mine. Two boxes of nails. These came with white tips. But on my nails currently, I use the blue tips, which you could buy separately. And I usually get these at the beauty trade shows when I go. So you take these clips and you find the appropriate size for your nail. And all you have to do is after you size your nail, you have to clean your nail bed, push back the cuticles, um, dehydrate the nail just a little bit. I like to with alcohol. And then you're going to brush on some glue onto the nail, put it on, and then this whole housing clip just comes off. And this is how you get this result in the end. Now I'm saying it really fast because I'm going to show you exactly what it is. And then you just use a base and a top coat in order to make it shiny like this. The shine lasts just like to me, like a gel nail shine. And it lasts up to two weeks for me. Now, when I notice that I have new growth around the cuticle area, um, I usually just add another top coat and some cuticle oil just to moisturize my, my surrounding skin, and it works. Okay, so when you're done with the nail tips, done meaning you want to change them, you're tired of your nails um, with the French manicure, all you simply have to do is use acetone and it comes off. You don't have to soak your nails, just wipe it with a combo ball and it removes the all the glue, the polish, everything off the nail easily. Now if you notice that you have any glue residue left over, I suggest just lightly buffing the nail and you can do so with a 240 grit file. Now with my kit, I got this file and it's 150 to 40. And you also get some small sanding sticks. This is one of my personal ones, the long one. And I like these because if you ever get glue underneath the nail, like after you put this on and glue gets stuck under there, you could clean under and your nails won't feel, your skin won't be stuck to the nail basically. I also should mention that with these tips, you cannot use them for extra length. So, as you can see, I really don't have length on my nails, but it looks like I have long fingernails. So, they can only extend to the length of your nail. If you try to make them longer than what your nail, your real nail is, it's just going to simply break off because you're only adding polish on top of it in order to make it shiny and durable. So... If you have any questions whatsoever, let me know. And here's the tutorial. I tried to give a quick one and show you just exactly how to put it on, but I didn't really um, answer any other troubleshooting ideas that might come up. I'm not sure if everybody experienced some of the things that I did. But if anything happens, let me know and I'll explain below. I'll like reply to a comment or you can even send in a message. And I will talk to you all soon. Okay, starting off, you're going to find the size of the tip that you need for your nail. So for my middle finger, I needed a size 4. You want to make sure that the tip goes from side to side. So this is how you would measure. Put it on top of your nail and see. And I don't see any on my nail so that I know that's the size that I need. So you're going to take your glue. And untwist the top and have it ready. Now, before all of this, you want to prep your nails with a foul. Um, usually, I prep it with a 240, and this actually came with my kit. And you simply go in the direction of your nail growth. I go in a downward movement. Slightly buff it. 
and you also want to make sure that you push back your cuticles as well which I've already done and if you have a certain shape that you want to do your nail I go ahead and do that right now as well so with the glue I'm going to put a little bit on the tip and then I'm going to put just a tab across the tip of my nail and I find that it helps the nail to adhere better so then you're gonna take the tip and place it down on the nail exactly where you want it to go sometimes I come out just a little bit further than my nail tip to make sure that it is going to cover the length of my nail exactly and you're going to press firmly and I like to pinch inward and outward sometimes that way you won't have a gap in the middle and you can look underneath to make sure you're covering your whole nail and then you hold it for a few seconds And the directions say you could use a nail clipper, but usually this just pops off on its own. And that goes with it. And there you go. So then you're going to have a nail wipe handy. And you're going to dip it in acetone. And you're going to have to move pretty quick with this. And then fold it in half. And just go around the nail to remove any glue that might have slipped on your natural nail underneath the actual French manicure and I do that so that I wipe it up so then you're going to take your white file and shape the housing however you want it because it came out more than my real nail I'm just going to go ahead and go back and forth so that it will blend with my natural nail. There you go. And I went straight across because I like the square shape. And sometimes I hit the sides. And then this is where the pink sponge file comes in handy. I use the 240 side and I go across the nail. If any of that glue is left on there, you're just buffing out the nail to make it shiny. And then across the sides, you're going to go to make sure that the tip blends well in case it was kind of longer than your natural nail. And there you have it. There's the nail and now we're just going to finish off with the base and the top coat. So with the base coat you're only going to do one coat and you're going to go across each nail. And I always cap my free edge. So after you let your base coat dry for a couple of minutes you can see how pretty your nails are. So what you want to do as the final step is do two coats of your top seal. And by doing so, all you're doing is allowing your nails to stay shiny for a longer period of time. But you really want to make sure that you let that base coat dry for at least a couple, two minutes so that the, um, you won't have so many coats to wait to dry and the base and the top coat won't mix together like in a wet state and then after wearing your nails like this for I guess a week maybe even two weeks I usually can go two weeks with these and if you notice that um, if you notice that your nails are looking a little bit dull around the cuticle area I suggest just going back around them with a top coat 
and then simply add some cuticle oil and it will freshen up the nail design a little bit more you can however take this off after a week or two weeks and just simply redo it but sometimes if you're like in a rush and you don't have the time then it's a good thing just to put back on the clear top coat to help it okay and here's the finished look beautiful french manicure so let me know what you all think if this is something that you want to try or if you think that it's harder than what it really is um i really like this design very quick cute and it comes in different colors i especially like the white tips let me know what you think and i will talk to you all soon bye